Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design connections with RAM connection in STAD Pro. Over the next series of videos, we're going to be taking a STAD Pro model and using the RAM connection design mode to design their steel connections. In this particular video, we're going to be focusing on preparing our STAD Pro model for connection design. To begin our workflow for designing our connections for an analyzed STAD Pro model, we are going to launch our STAD Pro Connect Edition icon directly from our desktop, which will enter us into the STAD Pro Start screen. Now within the STAD Pro Start screen, before you open up your sample model, you're going to take a look at the Additional Licenses section, which is located in the bottom right-hand corner. You're going to want to make sure that for this session you activate your RAM connection license, which will allow you to use the full capabilities of this area of the program. Next, we'll go ahead and open up our sample model that was supplied with our training today. Now, before we go ahead and prepare this model, for connection design, we're going to take a few moments to review the geometry properties, specifications, loading, and analysis commands that are already present in this particular model. Some areas of interest that you might be concerned with are the properties of the sections, which type of section properties are assigned to the different types of members within your model. In addition to that, you're going to want to take a look at your material properties. Now for this particular model, I went ahead and set up some custom material properties for my sample model. I created an A500 material for my wide flange tube sections, and I also created an A992 material property for my wide flange sections. What this allows me to do is it allows me to separate out the two different types of steel members that I have present on this model and assign appropriate yield strengths to these particular types of members as that material data is what the RAM connection design mode is going to be using. The last thing you're going to want to take a look at is the specifications area. You're going to see that some of your beam members will be pinned on both ends while some are fixed. We'll go ahead and need to assign the appropriate types of connections to those particular joints to resist those types of forces. And we're going to also notice that all of our brace members have been assigned the member truss command, which means that those members are only capable of carrying axial force, which is an assumption that the gusset plate design will utilize in RAM connection. Now, once you've taken a look at your model geometry, you're ready to go ahead and prepare this particular model for connection design. To do that, we first need to begin by performing an analysis. So up in your ribbon toolbar, you're going to select your analysis and design tab and then click on the run analysis icon. Now the STAD Pro RAM connection design mode will utilize the member end reactions determined through the STAD Pro analysis to design the steel connections. So it is important that an analysis is performed first so that your member end reactions are available. Once the analysis is complete, we're going to check to see that we don't have any errors or warnings. And then we can go ahead and stay in the modeling mode. Now at this point, we're ready to proceed over to RAM connection. To do that, we're going to go to our workflow panel and find our connection design icon. Now upon entering RAM connection, the program will let you know that it's going to go ahead and grab that material data from your STAD Pro model. So we'll go ahead and acknowledge this reminder by clicking on the close button. Now, before we go ahead and start designing connections, we also want to set up some design criteria within the RAM connection design mode. Over at the right hand side of our graphical user interface for this workflow, we're going to find our RAM connection input dialog, which contains several icons at the bottom of the screen, which you'll find useful for this workflow. The first icon we're going to select is our design load envelope icon. 
This command will be used to select your load cases and combinations to include in the steel connection design. Now for this particular model, I'm going to choose to design all of my connections for the load combinations and not the individual load cases. So I'm going to make sure all of my combinations are selected and I'm going to unselect my individual load cases. Now all of these loads were brought over directly from the STAD Pro analytical modeling mode. So once we're done, we'll go ahead and click OK. The next piece of information we're going to specify is our default connection settings. So we'll go ahead and click on the next icon. Now this will be used to set the default design code and your grouping scenario. For the design code for this training, I'm going to select the AISC 36010 LRFD design standard. Now it's important to note that in the STAD Pro analytical modeling mode, I generated LRFD style load combinations. So I do need to ensure that my design code is set to an LRFD design code to lead to a consistent design. Next, we have a checkbox to consider the AISC 341 and the AISC 358 for seismic provisions. For this particular model, we're going to leave this checkbox unselected and not design our connections for seismic provisions. If you were interested in seismic provisions, you will note that RAM connection does provide several moment style connections that are pre-qualified and also some gusset connections that would work for seismic provisions. It's also important to note that if you are designing your connections for seismic provisions, that you generate the appropriate load combinations for this workflow to include your overstrength factors. The next checkbox is to design multiple selected connections individually. If you select this checkbox, then STAD Pro will attempt to, then STAD Pro will design each connection for each joint that you currently have selected without consideration for any other currently selected joint. This will lead to the most number of unique connections that you have assigned to your job. If you would prefer to design your connections in groups, meaning that you would like STAD Pro to attempt to assign the same connection template to multiple selected joints, then you can leave this unselected. Lastly, if you need to add any additional databases to your model, depending upon the section properties you defined in your analytical modeling mode, you can go ahead and select them through this checkbox. I'm going to ensure that United States Group is added as that's what I used. That database is what I used to assign my properties in my STAD Pro model. The last piece of information I'm going to check is my material data which is available through this last icon in the RAM connection input dialog. This will be used to specify any additional material data that will be required by the RAM connection for the design of our steel connections. Now all of our STAD Pro materials were brought over from our analytical modeling mode through the STAD section, or basically created a new STAD database for you. I created those custom material properties for A992 and A500 and I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at your FY value or your yield sink of steel to make sure it does look appropriate. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and click OK. Now that material data is not editable in that particular dialog. If any of the material properties are not appropriate for the currently for the members that you brought over from the analytical modeling mode, you would need to go back here, redefine your materials, reanalyze, and then come back over to RAM connection. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.